This is a fridge and a freezer. A wall power adapter, very, very important. You can plug it in at home, in the garage, if you have a party for beer, something like that. Also, it's portable for my van, for my future van. And maybe this is the best thing about it. Did you hear that noise? It just feels so solid. I really, really like it. Like one of those fancy car doors. Yeah, I like that. Obviously, it has wheels, so you can move it around. I also noticed that it has two latches over here on the side. You can pull these out, and then now you have a handle to carry it. The normal power cord that goes here at the bottom. You also have the car cigarette lighter cord. It has the same connection. And this is the piece de resistance. I really like this. This is solar. So it has a direct connection to solar. So if you have a solar panel that you buy for this unit, you could just put it up on top of the roof and you're gonna run this one for free. So it turns on and it has a USB connection over here, five volt, one amp. So if you wanna charge uh, small stuff. I've just heard it turning on. So there's a compressor in it, very quiet. Let's see if I could find the source of that noise. I think it's on this side, but it's so quiet, you cannot hear it. Yeah, it's quite quiet. And there is an LG compressor on it, which is really one of the best ones out there. It's unlocked and right now I could adjust this side. So this is gonna be just a fridge. So I'm gonna keep it at 36. You could individually connect, uh, um, control them. So this is gonna be 36 and this one is gonna be 10. So I could put it minus, I think minus four is the most that it can go to, but that's in Fahrenheit. So that's a little bit too much work for, you know, the car battery or whatever you have. So for ice cream, 10 is gonna be just fine. So this is the fridge side. I put a watermelon in here and a couple of sodas to keep them cool and test them out. And here, I put ice cream and I put a bottle of water, see if it freezes. We're gonna run overnight. It's already using 47 watts only, so it's like an echo mode already. It's morning and uh, the temperatures are still 34. 13 so it kept the temperatures pretty good i slept with it all night in the room and it was not bothering me at all that's a great test to know if i would be able to sleep with it in the van and this is the water so the water is completely frozen so definitely freezes and that means that the ice cream has to be good too and yeah the ice cream is, is great so yeah you'll be able to have ice cream uh wherever you go and that's awesome and as far as like this side I have two nice cold drinks. Here is one. And then obviously I have my watermelon, which is ready to go. So definitely it's great. Next, I'm gonna test it out to see how it works with um, external power. I just plugged it into one of these portable battery backups uh, and it's running off of it already. It's 92%. Just curious to see how long it lasts uh, on the little battery backup like this, how much power it uses. Also, I had to change the uh, settings to not protect the battery because the battery went in protection mode automatically. That's why I was saying F1. So I put it on low protection for the battery. So right now you see it's running it at uh, as low as 10.7 uh, volts. Um, so you wouldn't do this on a car, but uh, on any deep cycle battery or some kind of like uh, thing like that, uh, this will work. It's amazing to think that it's running off one of these. So it's literally running one of these power banks. This is all the information I wanted to know before I could put it into my camper and go camping with it. New Air, thank you for making a great product.